Hey everybody, it's Tyler Austin. Thank you so much for watching. So I've been asked multiple times to do a video specifically on manipulating the AK while in the prone position. Um, like many other rifles, um, a lot of things stay the same. Some things you might have to do a little bit differently while in the prone. The AK is no different. So by popular demand, here it is. All right, so operating the AK in the prone. Uh, like I said in the beginning, a lot of things stay the same, like operating the char or the uh, safety. That really doesn't change while in the prone. Um, but there are a lot of things that you might have to do a little bit differently in the prone um, than you would do while standing or kneeling or whatever, because the prone is a bit of an awkward position to manipulate a rifle in, all rifles for that matter, whether it's an AK, AR, whatever. All rifles are a little bit harder to manipulate in the prone than they are when standing or kneeling or whatever because it's just a kind of a constrictive position to be in. I guess you could make the case that a belt fed might be a little bit easier to reload and whatnot in the prone, but that's not what we're talking about today. Um, so yeah, AK is no different. It can be a little bit more um, difficult to manipulate in the prone and you might have to do things a little bit differently than you would do then when you're standing or kneeling or whatever. Um, so it's a very important position to practice in um, and a lot of people just don't practice manipulations in the prone enough because you know standing or kneeling is just cooler or whatever. It makes for better Instagram videos. Um, so with that being said, um, like I said, a lot of things stay the same in regards to the AK, operating the safety, basically the same and all that. Um, but in regards to operating the charging handle and doing reload specifically, there are some better ways of doing it in the prone, at least in my opinion. So, charging handle. Now, if you've read my book, Combative Kalashnikov, Mastering the AK Rifle, uh, my ebook, um, you would know that I make a big emphasis saying that the right-handed individual should become very familiar with operating the charging hand, not only with their left hand, their support hand, but also with their firing hand. Uh, because there are a lot of positions in which operating that charging handle with the right hand, the firing hand, uh, is generally a much more efficient method of doing so. And prone is probably the most common position in which that is the case. Um, now, when you're standing or kneeling or whatever, there are several different ways of manipulating the charging handle. You can take your support hand, go underneath the rifle, um, you can go on over top the rifle, um, all that, but these are generally a lot more awkward in the prone because in the prone, to go under the rifle, you have to basically lift the rifle up, support the weight of the rifle in this very awkward position, get your hand underneath the rifle and then charge it. Um, going over might be a little bit easier because you can at least, you know, cant the rifle down a little bit and charge it. Still a little bit more awkward, um, but it's very easy to cycle this bolt um, with just your firing hand. All you have to do is just come up, grab that charging handle, and pull it back. It's very, very easy to do in the prone. Um, that's why I say that if you're right-handed, you should become very familiar with operating that charging handle with your right hand because of cases like this. Um, now, I know some greasy nerds out there are going to comment down in the comment section below going, oh, you shouldn't take your, shouldn't ever take your hand off fire control, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is absolutely retarded. I don't know where this came from. Um, someone probably heard it in some class somewhere uh, where the instructor was applying it to a very specific set of circumstances and they heard it and decided that it applied to everything in every circumstance and it has just become one of these mainstream sayings that uh, absolutely makes no sense. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking your hand, your firing hand, to grab the charging handle and cycle the boat to load your unloaded rifle. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but I digress. So yeah, operating the charging handle, the best way to do this as the for the right-handed individual is to use your firing hand uh, to come up, just grab the charging handle and cycle the bolt. It's very, very easy to do this in the prone and it's generally, at least in my opinion, the best way to do it. Now, the next thing um, that you might have to do a little bit differently is magazine changes. Um, now again, when you're standing, kneeling, whatever, there are several different ways of doing this. Um, I made a video on it. I highly suggest you go check that out. 
Um, I'll be referencing things here um, from that video. Um, but there's multiple different ways to do the magazine change, particularly when, uh, particularly in how you remove the magazine. Now, in the prone, I generally recommend what you do is that you leave the empty magazine in the gun while retrieving your new magazine. And the reason for this is because with the empty magazine in the gun, it can support the weight of the rifle while you uh, retrieve the new magazine. Because if you remove the old magazine first, you now have to support the weight of the rifle um, or allow the, the uh, muzzle of it to go down while you, you know, search and grab the new magazine, which is just um, highly awkward and somewhat clumsy um, at the very least. So I recommend that you keep the old magazine in the gun while you retrieve the new magazine. And so it can support the weight of the rifle. Bring your new magazine from wherever you're going to get it, um, pouches, whatever. And then from here, um, the method I personally prefer is a thumb sweep. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go see what my go see my uh, video on um, magazine changes for the AK. You will know what I'm talking about. But all you do is you just bring the rifle up, thumb sweep that old magazine out, insert the new magazine in, cycle the bolt. In my opinion, that is the best way to reload the AK while in the pro. Now you can do a magazine sweep too if you wish. You can use the magazine to sweep the old mag uh, to remove the old magazine. Um, that's certainly a valid method too. Personally, I just prefer doing a thumb sweep, but um, to each their own. So that's reloading the AK while in the prone. Again, best way to do it. Um, keep the old magazine in the gun, allow it to support the weight of the rifle while you retrieve the new magazine. Uh, and personally, I like to do a thumb sweep to remove the old magazine, load the new magazine, or you could do a magazine sweep. Either one is fine. Um, and then cycle the bolt using your firing hand. Now another big issue people like to bring up is because a AK magazine is a little bit longer than let's say an AR magazine, um, the rifle is going to be elevated a little bit higher up off the ground um, than it would be for like an AR-15 and some people take issue with this. Um, because you will be slightly more elevated off the ground when you're, you know, looking down the sights and whatnot. And this really isn't a big issue, um, particularly because, you know, it might seem like a big issue when you're shooting on a flat range that's perfectly manicured or, you know, all sand or whatever. Um, but in real life context, you know, not every, you're probably not going to be fighting in a perfectly manicured lawn um, or just a big old sand pit um, you know in, in real life environments you have stuff that grow on the ground um, you know high grass tall grass um, you know branches brush all that that you might have to shoot over or at least see over in order to engage so having a little bit higher set uh, on the rifle isn't necessarily a bad thing um, because typically you have to shoot over or at least some tall grass or whatever, or at least be able to see over. So you're going to have to be slightly elevated anyways. Um, so having that real low um, uh, rest position, the prone might be ideal for some situations, but can actually be a disadvantage in some other environments. So, you know, something to think about. But in the event that you do need to get lower um, in the prone with the AK, all you need to really do is just cant the rifle slightly. Keep the magazine on the ground, but you can cant the rifle. You can cant it as much as you need in order to get low. And you can keep the rifle low, you get the rifle even lower if you need to while still using your sights. Iron sights is a little bit more awkward to do this. If you have a red dot, it's a little bit better. Um, not shocking, just one of the advantages of a red dot. Um, but again, you can cant the rifle if you need to get lower. You just cant the rifle. Rifle is still supported um, by the magazine and uh, by your support hand. And you can fight like this if you need to get lower, and you can keep getting lower if you need to. Um, so yeah, that's how you get lower in the prone if you need to get lower or want to get lower. Just cant the rifle down and get low, and that is how you fight in a lower prone position with the AK. You can do this with other rifles too, by the way, such as the AR-15. You can do the exact same thing by just simply canting the rifle and getting yourself lower. 
Well, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Be sure to practice this. Um, you can do this all in dry fire sessions, so it costs you nothing in terms of ammo and range costs. You can do this all in dry practice, so be sure to practice it because people do not practice it enough. Um, that being practicing manipulating their rifle in the prone position. It's very important, but people do not practice it enough, so be sure to practice this. If you'd like to learn more about fighting with your AK, be sure to check out my ebook, Combative Kalashnikov, Mastering the AK Rifle. It's 172 pages of AK content, and if you're an AK lover like me, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So if that's something that will interest you, be sure to check it out. Again, Combative Kalashnikov, Mastering the AK Rifle, on my ebook. You can find that in the description below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, depending on where you're watching this. Thank you so much for watching.